first off let me say I'm not making this video to judge or condemn Sweden or the Swedish people I have chosen this video title to raise awareness I'm very thankful for uh, the care that we are giving to the environment and to creation in this country already. I have a lot of respect for many farmers. I have a lot of farmers that are friends. And I'm very grateful for people who, when they buy their food, make a choice and by that a change. Nevertheless, I want to raise awareness and this video is more or less dedicated to those among us who are prideful and filled of arrogance regarding what we have here in Sweden and look down upon other people groups and other countries. I recently posted a video that I didn't know it beforehand, I should have known, but it caused a lot of controversy in the comments section. And I, I just want to talk about this a little bit and raise awareness to certain things that are going on here in Sweden. You always find people that are filled of pride and arrogance that we are so much better than other people. And in a sense, I think that any nation thinks of themselves better than other nations. This is something that exists here in Sweden as well. And it really upsets me when I see people pridefully talk down on others and, and um, show themselves in a light that they are better than everybody else. I want to specifically talk about the poultry and chicken industry here in Sweden because that was what the controversy was all about. Both the processing, what chickens should eat and so on. Sweden prides itself in um, taking care of the animals so well. I was in the supermarket yesterday buying a couple things that we cannot produce on our farm and um, there was a sign over the fridge section where you can buy meat and it was talking about chicken. And on the sign it says that um, the chickens are well taken care of and if you choose chicken it's a better choice for the environment. That is just pure hypocrisy. Uh, we pride ourselves in that we stun the chickens before we butcher them and, and, and there was a lot of trash talking about people in um, North America or Asia or other countries uh, that, that choose not to do so. I, I just want to raise awareness about how this is happening in our country here any Western country where you might be watching from. This is the same in your country, but I live in Sweden, so I want to raise awareness for Sweden. The chickens are raised in an environment that is not at all encouraging the chickenness of the chicken. It is very much um, a bad environment. Um, many chickens die daily. In fact, in this picture in the supermarket, it said that the chickens are well taken care of here in our country. We recently bought some cows and the cow farmer, the cattle farmer, lives very close to where they raise chickens here in Sweden and he said that he has stopped eating chicken because of what he sees going on. Many chickens die, their organs, they grow so fa fast that their organs and bones can't keep up with the growth. Um, it's a bad, poor environment and the chickens die. They never have fresh air, they never have sunlight, they never get to scratch the ground for feed and it is just a very poor way of raising them and we have to feed them medication so that they at all will survive this. Now when we process them we pride ourselves in that we stun the chickens and it's very humane. No it's not. If you look at the, the pictures how the birds are treated they are hung up by the feet then they are um, put through through a water bath or water with uh, that's electrocuted so so it stuns them and by far not all birds are actually um, stunned once they get out of this and then they walk by a knife that cuts open their throats or cuts off their necks and even this um, many many times the knife misses or misses a bird that was still alive and then the birds are being put into water to, to um, scald them to get the feathers off then we pride ourselves and then it, it has become such a money maker and such a big advertisement that the chicken feed that you buy in the stores, it's um, absolutely vegetarian. And I really wonder if we truly care about the well-being and the health and, and, and the, just the natural um, being of that chicken. I mean, 
No chicken in nature eats a pure vegetarian diet. Chickens are omnivores. They need animal protein. So why do we pride ourselves in just selling vegetarian feed in, in, the, in the stores? I, I don't understand it. That is not natural for a chicken. That is not good for a chicken. One claim that I saw in the store's advertisement was that chicken meat is a more environmentally friendly choice. And of course, they were hinting towards this agenda-driven demonizing of cattle that has been going on. Here in Sweden, we have grocery store chains and producers of processed food who have been flooding the internet with ads where they say that we need to eat more vegetarian and eat less beef. I do not understand where this comes from or where they get their facts from. Today cows are being blamed for climate change. Several hundred years ago we had more meat being produced in North America than today. I am obviously talking about these millions of buffaloes that graced the Great Plains in the US. There were more cattle, so to speak more meat being produced and it is these big herds of herbivores that have built the topsoil in our country for vegetables and grains and beans and all of that we need to till these topsoils we are plowing them tilling them and that we are destroying them these topsoils are disappearing more and more from our planet it has first been the last decades that we have started to feed grain on this scale to chickens. Chickens have always been on the side of human beings. They have always turned food scraps into a valuable product, meat and eggs. Today we feed our chickens with grain, which we have to till the ground for. We are not building topsoil, we are breaking it down. So historically there is no foundation for such claims. We need to have more grass-fed cattle. People should choose grass-fed beef over chicken meat raised in our industry and in our factories. It is those cows that don't require any tilling, that only require grass, and that build Sweden's, Europe's and the world's topsoils. And in turn, these cows will also produce compost that we can use for gardening. In the cow manure, insects grow that we can feed our chickens with. This is the kind of thinking and the kind of farming that we need. I just want to raise awareness of this and, and again, this is not just Sweden, this is all the Western countries. And I, I just want to say, we should be humble in how we act. Our industry is about money. It is not about the well-being of the animal and it is the individual farmer that have the choice and many of them make right choices already but it is very important that we don't pride ourselves and, and, and look down upon other people and think we are so good because we're, we're doing a lot of wrong things to animals still and um, we're supposed to be stewards of God's creation so thank you for watching